Concussions are a serious concern, especially with contact sports like football, soccer, rugby, and hockey. But a revolutionary technology could change all of that. Stay tuned to find out how on NSF Science Now. According to the CDC, 3.8 million concussions occur each year in the U.S. from sports and recreation. In high-impact sports like football, rugby, and soccer, concussions are the most prevalent, causing symptoms including dizziness, nausea, and headaches. But so often, players display no signs, shake it off, and return to the game, risking another hit, possibly further brain injury, and even death. There's something called sudden impact syndrome or second impact syndrome, where um, players may have had a small concussion, they may feel okay and go right back to play and then have another hit and after that hit they drop and they're in a coma. So it's a pretty scary phenomenon if we ever let someone go back into play prematurely where they're still potentially vulnerable for more brain injury. Diagnosing concussions is a tricky business with no real measurable standard protocol for detection. And we all do something a little bit different in terms of the metrics that we use to diagnose a concussion. And that makes it challenging. Current advances in helmet protection include padding like the Guardian cap, a thick layer of padding worn over the outside of football helmets. The cap is currently being used by high school and college teams throughout the country and has recently been mandated by the NFL for use during practices. Having tested the Guardian cap in their lab, NSF-supported researchers at Stanford University, in association with Save Your Brain, Inc., want to take this protection even further. It's great to see new technologies like the Guardian Cap performing really well in the lab, but the Guardian Cap is an extra product that fits on the outside of the helmet. So what we wanted to do was go a step further and see what we could do to improve the inside of the helmet rather than the outside of the helmet. The team is building soft shocks, cutting edge liquid shock absorbers, which could dramatically reduce impact severity and strain on the brain caused by head impacts. Our team is developing a new shock absorbing technology that relies upon hydraulics as its main means of absorbing energy. We've designed a finite element model of an American football helmet that features these liquid shock absorbers inside of it. This technology is more than just a pad. The helmet features 21 liquid shock absorbers spread throughout the helmet. When force is applied to the shocks, they compress and force liquid to flow laterally from the center chamber through an opening, and the energy is absorbed from the impact. The team says the system is unique in that it can protect against a wide range of impacts. It can lower the burden felt in slow, low velocity impacts, but also help protect from those fast, high velocity impacts that are gonna more, be more likely to cause concussion. They put their helmet to the test in a simulation environment similar to what would happen on a football field. The team found that when tested against four other commercially available football helmets, their liquid helmet had the best performance for both low velocity and high velocity impacts of any other helmet tested. On average, the liquid helmet reduced impact severity by about 30% compared to the state of the art. If our simulation results translate to real game play, we expect to see a large reduction in the severity of impacts that athletes are sustaining. We even have some data that suggests that this could reduce the number of concussions that athletes sustain, but we would need to conduct a field study to verify that. While more testing is needed, the team hopes to develop and test a soft shocks prototype on the field. Yeah, it's a really exciting approach because it's something very novel, particularly using liquid shock as opposed to some air or solid materials. It's something that we can hopefully move the needle, but again, just like Guardian Cap, we need to test this on the field to really show that it has the clear impact that we hope it does that we see in the laboratory. In any way we can mitigate that concussion risk, the better. One less concussion I can take care of in the clinic would be a dream.